Hi, let's talk about what is needed to break away from fear. <laughs> and that thing that is needed in order to break away from fear and stop having fear control your life is complete trust. Complete, unconditional trust. So easy to say, but not that easy to do. So that's really what I want to touch upon in this video today. If you're new to my channel, I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and an awakening coach, a master certified law of attraction coach. I work with energy, <laughs> with releasing all that subconscious program that holds you back from moving forward, creating your life and uh, truly living a life that you love, which is my website, lovemylife.coach. So this topic about complete trust, we can be there and we can hold that space. I know I can, I, I pop in and out of it. I've been working on this. That's why I wanted to make this video. Um, I have not mastered being able to just be in complete trust, to really know that everything that is happening is perfect. But when I can remind myself of that, then I can easily pull myself up and out of those lower spaces that I might find myself in regarding any particular thing that might be going on in my life. I happen to have a really big thing going on right now, and it has caused me to go into that um, space of fear and worry. And I know that nothing good comes from that energy. You, you, you really need to maintain a higher vibration so that number one, you're open to the inspiration that wants to come through because when you're in that higher vibe, it's so much easier for your guides, your team and spirit to actually speak through you, to send you or point you in the directions that take you where you're meant to be next. So, and sometimes you have to go through a really tough time to get there because there's, or there's just something that has to be let go of because it's part of the old way of being, right? That, that 3D mentality that everything is done through fear and struggle and overcoming and, you know, all these rising above all these d denser energies. Well, we want to move into a time where we just live in the higher vibe. You know, we're just in those, that higher dimension where everything flows and everything is perfect just as it is, even the challenges. <laughs> So easy to say, not always easy to live through. Um, and so I, I developed a course called high vibration, high vibration living so that it can help you to find ways to shift out of those lower energies into a higher vibe. But beyond that, we need to get through this space of just, uh, we can call it unconditional trust, just plain old trust, no strings attached, just really getting into that space where we know because we, know, we it. know it spirit is flowing through us we are all connected we are all part of this universe and in harmony mostly <laughs> with it even when we don't know that we are because we might look at a situation and think that it's like the worst thing that could have ever happened but yet it's just something that's moving you forward along your path. But the thing is we can go easily with that flow or we can fight that current and um, think that we know better, like to get into our head space to try and figure out what comes next rather than just letting ourselves be led. Um, you know, our higher self will lead us, right? <laughs> so that's what I wanted to really get across. And, and all I can say is you just have to do it, okay? There's no like magic trick to being able to trust. You just have to make a conscious decision that I, you know, I choose to trust that this is taking me where I'm meant to be and that what's happening right now is perfect or spirit wouldn't have sent it to me. I would not be this match to that, right? Um, so, but that's, you know, that's not always that easy to do. <laughs> so what I find I do, and I've done videos about the ego and the soul, because for me, it's more like living through the heart, the soul space, or living through fear, that, that part of the mind 
the ego part of the mind that's based on old patterns and programs. So I, we want to be here now in the present moment, right? And let that present moment move us forward. So those lower energies of the fear and the doubt, that re really, I would say, almost always exists in something that's in the past or something we're projecting into the future, but not right here in the present moment. So we want to be able to drop into the present moment, drop into our heart. Meditation is a great way to do that. Connecting with nature is a great way to do that. And just really, even if you have to pretend, trust that everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to be. You know, that things are being, that you are being divinely guided. Because I know that this one situation I've been working with, the more I try to figure it out and find solutions, it seems like the less solutions appear. But when I can make myself be, I have to say make myself because I have to bring myself into that space where, no, you know what? I'm just going to trust. I'm just going to drop that story because really it doesn't take me anywhere. It's not, I, I don't feel good. That's your kick, kick off right there. If it doesn't, it doesn't feel, good, feel it's good, good, it's not supporting you, right? So you want to just decide, okay, I'm just going to trust. I'm going to give it up to the universe. The universe has got my back. And uh, I got this team of spirit all around me. They're going to guide me to what's best for me. And the solutions will come. When I do that, <laughs> things pop up. Out, it seems like out of nowhere, things just pop up. Right thing, right time. Or something that takes me a little bit further, that opens up where the light is coming through the darkness, right? Yeah, and that's so beautiful. But even though I can do that and I've done that, I'll still find myself falling back into this other space where all of a sudden here come those old programs again. And so I have to clear out that, which is fine because you're just, it's like, I, I look at it like peeling the layers of an onion, getting down to that pearl, right? We're just releasing all that stuff, but it doesn't have to be that hard. You know, we could literally, I, I believe we are powerful enough to just do it. So that's what I've been working on. And that's what I wanted to share with you. And now before I actually, um, decided to shoot the video, I picked, I knew what I want to talk about. I asked spirit to send me two, I picked, I picked two cards that would talk to this subject. And I believe they're perfect. <laughs> I had clients earlier today. I had some decks out, so I decided to, um, pull a card, but the first, the first card I have is the river queen, but I got it in the reverse position. Let's see if we see that the lights in the way. Anyway, uh, the River Queen, it's about flow, letting go, and natural movement. All right, sounds good, right? But it was in the reverse. So in the reverse, it says, turbulent waters and rapids to cross are directly ahead of you. You have no boat to navigate now. It's just you in the water going where it takes you, right? Just letting go and letting this unfold. Whatever's unfolding, allowing it to just, just go with it, right? That's, that's what this is saying to me anyway. And I said, that said, although the River Queen is your challenger here, because it was upside down in a challenger position, she has no intention of letting you go under. <laughs> There's no reason to fear. The River Queen will help you over it so that you can splash down again in the gentle waters of the river below. So over those turbulent waters, right? and then flowing with renewed purpose into the sea. It says, be fearless, go with the current of events. This can be an adventure. So, I mean, I just love it. How, to me, that card it sums up basically everything I was just talking about, right? But then I picked another card. And this card, at least for me and my experience, I think is perfect too, because it was anxiety, anxiety in the reverse, right? So the anxiety in reverse, <laughs> It says, finally, relief. The nightmare of a card, this nightmare of a card, reverse, could mean one of two things. Either a recent problem is on its way out, and you know, a lot of the energy updates I've been doing have been showing that. We've been doing so much purging, and these old programs are on their way out. So it speaks to all of that. That's been kind of happening in the collective, right? Not just, yeah, I feel like it's happening in one way or another with everyone, whether they're consciously aware of it or not. Um, so it says, all right, so the nightmare of a car reverse could mean one of two things, either there that a recent problem is on its way out, causing you to feel more relaxed, 
or you have mastered an old habit of worry and have freed yourself from the anxiety within. That's our job right now, mastering that worry, putting it to the side, sending it to the curb, right? Fear, anxiety, worry, all of those lower energies. Um, it says either way, anxiety reversed is a good omen for, of more relaxed and peaceful times to come. Maintain a trusting attitude and let the difficulties of fear, of fear thoughts fade away from the distance. So they're from two different decks, the energy oracle, and what was the other one? The other one is uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Two different decks. Both cards speak perfectly to what's been on my mind and what I've been personally dealing with. And maybe at some point I'll, I'll do a video on that. I don't feel like I'm really ready to share all of that yet. And I know that this is for me to learn what I'm talking about here today. For me to actually master knowing or maybe even finding a way where I can easily explain that or a step-by-step -step process, which I don't think exists, to mastering the fear and the worry and just really allowing and trusting completely that everything's, yeah, everything's happening, happening, happening perfectly. Perfectly, 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 perfectly. The good, bad, and the ugly is happening perfectly. So that's something for you to think about. I'd love to hear your comments below as to how this is playing out in your life, um, whether you feel you've mastered this and you can more easily move out of that space and just trust. But I do know this, when I can do it, like really truly do it, not pretend I'm doing it, but really drop into my heart and just let it go. And that really what helps is to be in the present moment. Cause like, it's like, we're well, right here, right now, this horrible thing that could happen it's not happening right here, right now. And you know what? 10 minutes later, is it happening? No, it's not happening right here, right now. So if you can just keep being in your present moment, trusting the universe has got your back. There is a divine plan. You're a part of it. Um, it'll make everything a whole lot easier. But really, I would love to hear your comments about anything I just said, because this is really something that... Um, I think everybody deals with in one way or another and because uh, there's always going to be stuff coming up i mean that's you know, that's what it's all about we all want to expand and grow expand and grow we expand through these different things that present but to master being able to see it and then just go with it and move right through it not having all this old baggage create it into something that it's not well isn't that beautiful <laughs> All right, that's it for today. I will see you on another video. Bye.